Okay, continuing here with uh, part two. Kaspersky still uh, fighting a lot with uh, malwares on the system, and um, all those files are already blocked, and he is just trying to remove them. This is a Java file which is not running because I haven't installed Java on this computer. But uh, if you check this other folder, this is empty. He already removed everything. Um, these are the files from today. So I will let this go on and see what is here, what he is doing here. He's removing more and more malware from the system, but uh, working really hard now. I will just pause the video for some seconds. All right, now he removed all of those files by himself, and. Um, The Kaspersky is not longer using so much memory or processor, and um, we we'll just see here what's there. He wants to reboot. Necessary to reboot. I will do that. I will go back when this is done. All right, back here. Kaspersky rebooted, and um, looks like it removed some of the malware. So we will see reports, 54 objects in total. Okay, um, now I will do the same again as uh, yesterday, running a full system scan, and um, we will go back when this is done. Well, just to show you. Um, full system scan is ongoing and it's going much faster this time as in this test yesterday. Also the memory usage while doing a full system scan has proved yeah. has been impro improved. Um, so this is probably some of the bug fixes in this um, critical fix version 2 for Kaspersky. So um, I will let this go on and um, continue when the scan is finished. Okay, scan finished and uh, found two infections. Um, and now I will continue and um, do a scan with Marybytes. And we'll be back when this is done. We'll just make an update first. Have the latest definitions and then uh, starting with Cisco. Well just to show you before I'm running the scan with Mabobytes I would just or I have just run was just running CCleaner to clean temporary files and so on. So now I will start the scan with Mabobytes. So scan with Mabobytes is ongoing and um, just to show you the browser is on and uh, in the process manager uh, there was this file here which I thought was a um, virus web toolbar but it's basically a file which is connected to Kaspersky so sorry for that in my previous video this is like a browser plugin from Kaspersky and not a not the infection system looks, looks really clean now and um, we will see whether um, Mabobytes will find anything. Um, so I will be back when the scan is finished. Okay, Mabobytes finished scanning and found two infected objects. Uh, one is this file which I have here in my documents. Let 
me see program files that's still there but it wasn't yeah, it was running but when I rebooted the computer it disappeared so uh, megabytes find this file and um, if you just check with program files file land and we have that file um, scanning for virus not found and what's happening if we run this file open yeah I don't know what this is I close it again so it's not detected but um, it's still on the system and we have a registry rigid to entrance entrance uh, uh, registry key as well so I remove that and uh, then I will just reboot this and make some scans with some other programs. Okay, scan with Hitman Pro finished and found uh, three more files. Um, those two were actually blocked by Kaspersky by the publication control, so it c they could not execute it. But the files themselves are still on the system. And we have this file land set up uh, which already has been removed by uh, megabytes but is still on um, in this folder where I extracted this one. So I will remove this. And um, that's this one. And now doing a scan with um, Norton Power Eraser to see how much this is finding. Uh, it's going really fast, this Power Eraser. Okay, stop uh, stop scanning and uh, again we have this Wireshark here which is a network scanning tool. So this is um, false positive. Um, hasn't so it say Norton hasn't found anything more and finally doing just a quick scan with um, Emisoft malware to see what this is finds on the system nothing so our system is clean now um, So back to the program, uh, Kaspersky Internet Security 2011, uh, latest bug fix or critical fix as they call it, critical fix 2, version 11.0.2.556 uh, is performing better this time than uh, in the previous version I was testing yesterday. And uh, on the other hand, it has been now about 15 16 hours since this test so maybe they have also added this file to their detection some of the files which they haven't detected yet yesterday but um, it could also be that this um, critical fix 2 version has improved malware detection capability um, compared to the version before also what I have seen uh, system scan or full system scan is going faster now than in this previous version. So I suggest all Kaspersky users downloading the latest version from Kaspersky.com and um, installing it. So that's it. Uh, nothing more to say from me and um, hope you enjoyed the video and see you later. Bye bye.